Hi everyone, so today we are looking at putting some floodlights on the roof bars and this means that we're going to run uh, four uh, floodlights uh, along the top of the roof bar itself and put them into series so that when they're connected together with one switch they all light up at the same time. So that's the plan for today, so let's have a quick look at these lights. So those of you watching the previous video on the ditch lights where I used a waterproof connection uh, to make sure that the lights were all connected with the wiring loom. Uh, in this case, I'm using that for an independent because the cable that coming from the lights itself is short. So adding a waterproof connection and then being able to link them together in, in series is the plan here.
So the roof rack itself has four specific places for these lights to be attached. And that's when I'm able to just link them up very quickly into the, the holes that are already there and then I put the cables in the framework behind attached with cable ties. Again, if you've been watching previous videos, you will have seen me install the relay box for the switch panel, which is inside the cabin. Uh, and now I need to make sure that these four uh, floodlights are connected into that switch panel and also into the ground terminal block as well. Remember, I need to fix that ground terminal block, but I've still got some lights to uh, attach to that. So I'm not going to fix that until I've done all of that. Um, however, uh, making sure that these lights are now connected into the switch panel. Okay, so cable ties are pulling the cable to the frame of the roof rack. So it's all nice and neat and tidy there. Coming down the side, underneath there, down the side here, in here, in this here, down here. It's right down through underneath the car and all the way through, following the route that comes down through here, up around, back, on the back of the vehicle to the relay box here. So I've now got them lined up. Um, I've got a ground uh, plate here, which uh, I will fix once I've finished bits and pieces to do with this. Just making sure I've got everything happy with this. Um, and I'll probably put some uh, ties in to tidy all this up as well. Okay, we're gonna do a live test run here. So let's have a little look. So we have what I think is number three here, which is now the ditch lights, and I wired them into number two here. So flood lights to number two, let's have a little look. On. So if my calculations are correct, <laughs> let's have a little look. On. Let's have a little look outside. Live test run. And, oh look, good news. Very bright too. Okay, 